Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobulman. Today's video I wanted to help um, you find an upgrade for your computer, specifically a CPU upgrade. On uh, my hardware videos that I do, I get questions on, you know, which, you know, which RAM should I buy, which motherboard, which, you know, uh, power supply. And video cards and also CPUs so I've decided to make a quick video on how to find the correct upgrade for your computer so one way to get this going you know to find out which CPU you currently have so that you can pick an upgrade is to start with finding out what your CPU is so one way to find that out is to look at your computer properties um, if you happen to have you know, icon for your computer, my computer, or this PC on your desktop, simply right-click it and go all the way down and select Properties. Another way is to go down into your search bar, left-hand side, and type in System Information. Once you find that, simply select that. So these are a couple of ways of finding out what your CPU is. Now let's have a look at the properties because this is the most likely place you will end up. And in my case, we can see that this is a mobile type of processor. Um, it doesn't say that here, but this is on a laptop. So this is an Intel Celeron CPU B830 running at 1.8 gigahertz. So go ahead and make note of that because we will use it in our next step. So it's Intel. Celeron B830. We can also confirm this in our system information. Under processor, it says Intel Celeron B830, two cores. All right, so we have confirmed that. Next step is to figure out which socket we use. And we can figure this out by you know, doing some basic internet uh, search, which we will use Google for. So go ahead and remember the name or copy it from your note. With Google open, go ahead and type or paste in the name of your CPU. Hit enter. And usually the first thing that comes up as the search result for all Intel processors is the Intel website with the link, specifically arc.intel.com. And you can see that that is indeed my processor. So we're going to click on that. Once this pulls up, we'll be able to find some uh, details uh, about my CPU. And we can tell indeed that this is mobile. And here we can confirm again, it's B830. We can also tell that it was released in third quarter of 2012. Architecture is 32NM, right? And we can also see some basic st stuff like CPU speed, 1.8, and the catch, right? These are a couple of things we have to keep in mind when it comes to finding an upgrade. So that way we can compare to make sure we are indeed buying an upgrade. But again, I did mention that the first thing we need to find out is our socket. So if you scroll down under package specifications, you can see which socket is supported. And here it says FC PGA 988. Um, mostly, th this socket is actually mostly referenced as PGA 988 without the FC and that goes for all of the other processors so typically it's three letters and then some numbers right go ahead and copy that so it's PGA 988 and we're going to do a quick Google search of this just so we can find some information and then see if it can tell us which CPUs are supported. And here we have some basic information, first starting with socket G1, that's it's also known as socket G1, right? 
And if we can go in, if we go in here in the Wikipedia page, we can on the right hand side we can see which type of processors are supported for this socket. So keep this open just so you have a point of reference and confirmation to make sure that on your next step, which is you know buying or shopping for that CPU that you are interested in, is you know that way you have a you know double you know double confirmation right so keep this open and what i like to do is go to amazon and do a search for pga 988 and what i usually do is type in cpu afterwards and then i hit enter or click the search search icon and indeed, we have some, you know, options here. First thing that comes up is Intel Core i7-620M. And the second is Intel Core i7-640M. So let's look at this very first one and kind of compare the specs, right? So this indeed, it says it's PGA-988, right? And this is 620M, i7-620M. Let's go back to our Wikipedia. We can see that indeed i7-620M is listed, right? And also here i7-640M is listed. So that's good. That confirms that we're looking at the proper CPU. But like, let's compare the stats, right? This one runs at 2.6 at with uh, 2.6 gigahertz and four megabytes of cache. Now let's look at this here. This is our CPU. This one runs at 1.8 with two megabytes of catch. So obviously this new i7 would be a huge upgrade. All right, guys, you can also do this type of search on any other websites like Newegg, eBay and such to help you find the correct upgrade. Just make sure you do these two first steps to help you confirm that you are indeed buying a correct upgrade. All right, my friends, for your convenience, in the description box below, I will provide a link to Amazon that will help you choose a correct CPU. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.